What's up guys, this is Adam. Uh, today we have a very interesting video uh, from this week's drawing challenge, which is video games. Everyone who participated and voted, thank you so much. Uh, so many votes, so many good choices here. This is actually a game that I remember playing back in middle school, and it suits a middle school mindset, let me tell you that. So, starting off here, we're doing our sketch. At the bottom left hand corner, you can see my phone. I've taken pictures of my, my thumbnails. So that's my, again, my drawing reference when I'm drawing these videos. But So I'm going to lay in him, and then uh, in this particular piece, I've got a lot of typography that's going on in the background, a lot of uh, words and letters to have fun with. And um, yeah, I actually went back and watched a video of someone playing this silly game. It's called Booger Man, uh, a... Boogerman, yeah, it's the, the character, and it's this this overweight superhero who flings his boogers and farts on things, and he runs through stages that are covered in mucus, and it's utterly gross. He, anytime he does something good, he yells the word rad or cool. You can clearly tell the demographic that the programmers were going for here, which is hilarious. So, um... Yeah, thank you again to everyone who voted for this. this is a, a, a bit of a memory lane, like silly thing to remember as a kid. Um, so yeah, that's super fun. But I guess that's kind of the point of the whole challenge was everyone has those games that are nostalgic and they're somewhat personal to us, just something fun for us to uh, go back and remember. So I wanted to thank everyone who voted. And yeah, so right now, like I said, I'm just inking the piece. Uh, right, I'm doing actually a technique called stippling uh, for his his five o'clock shadow uh, around his big old neck and chin. And then now I'm erasing. Oh, stippling is just where you dot. It's a lot of dots that make a pattern that can be used for you know, different purposes. So now I'm going back in with my tones, starting with the skin, or uh, not skin tones, but the warm grades. Again, this is very important if, if you're doing a color piece, which I'm doing this time. Normally I'm doing a black and white piece on a weekly basis, but this one is a color piece. And so I'm using tones to communicate where the lights are on a three-dimensional space. So the light uh, is coming from, kind of from the top right of the piece, and that's what we want to always keep in mind. And the highlights are going to be on that side of every piece of information. The mucus, the cape that he's got on, which that is a cape, and uh, his face. So we're just going to keep that, like I said, in mind as we do this piece. So I'm going back, I'm going darker and darker to communicate um, shadow and three-dimensional space. Putting in colors, and just, this guy would not, do, I mean, he would not be Booger Man. If he were black and white, it just it just would look weird. So he he needed to have that that gross mucus uh, look and texture to him. And so now I'm going in and putting all the the words in like gross and Ralph and cool and barf. Uh, again, apologize to anyone <laughs> anyone who's offended or or grossed out. The game is supposed to do that, and it's it like I said, appealed to the middle school me and uh, to those who voted for this topic. So again, I'm going in with uh, this really, uh, this, this green color called acidic green. It's, I'm using Copic markers. I'm now going in and spraying uh, some of that Copic marker in to, to create a, a splatter effect um, from that mucus uh, all around. Just going in, making it darker, filling in some of the words. Um, and then lastly, and I'm putting in my highlights, because no matter what it is, especially something that is uh, liquid, it's going to have light bouncing off of it, even if it's gross mucus like this is. So, and I'm going to throw in some black spray, or black um, effects, and then I'm going to throw in some white, and kind of show like this dimensional... Uh, piece and then we'll be done. But yeah, just going back in with a brush actually on some of those highlights because again, mucus kind of you can easily manipulate and show that 
that white with your brush. So again, thank you guys so much. This piece is available to purchase for $75. Just message me if you're interested for this original piece of artwork. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks.